Hey, I'm Brock Archer with Advanced Extrication. Welcome to Extrication Minutes. It's every Tuesday on Fire Engineering. This week, we're going to talk about dual phase or dual stage airbags. Okay, before we get started, quick shout out, Indianapolis Fire Department. Thanks for the shirt, brothers. I love it. Okay, dual phase, dual stage airbags. Another one of those wild urban legends. So let's talk about how they actually work, how the manufacturer designs a dual phase, dual stage airbag to function in a collision. The way it works is there's actually two inflation devices, typically chemical inflators. They're, they're likely found in the front driver and the front passenger sides of the vehicle. These dual phase, dual stage airbags are not designed to deploy two times independently. We don't have a collision, have airbag deployment, and then have a second collision and the bag is designed to deploy again. The way it works is that of these two inflators, one of the inflators makes up 70% of the airbag's inflation or strength potential. The other one makes up 30%. So essentially, we have one very strong inflator, and then we have one smaller, not as strong inflator in the same airbag. Again, the design is to have both deploy at the same time, or just the 70% deploy, and the 30% remains dormant, undeployed. It's so that in, a, in the case of a high speed collision, if a, we have a larger occupant or the vehicle is traveling at high speeds, we're going to likely get both inflators. So we'll have a very strong deployment of that frontal airbag. If we have a lighter occupant or the vehicle isn't moving as quickly, we'll have a softer deployment and we'll only get that 70% inflator. Again, in that, in that situation, the 30% bag will stay dormant and undeployed. Now, is it possible that that second phase, that 30% phase, could deploy while we're taking action on the vehicle? It is possible, and it's actually fairly likely. It happens often. A lot of times what will happen is that the heat from the first deployment of that 70% inflator, it will heat up enough to deploy that 30% infl inflator. So is it a hazard to us as rescuers or to the occupant of the vehicle, that second possible deployment of the bag? It's not a hazard because the bag has already deployed. Therefore, when the 30% cylinder or inf uh, inflator deploys, it doesn't even fill the entire bag with gas. You may hear it deploy, it may be a little bit loud, but we're not going to have any injuries and it's not going to present any risk to us as occupants. So as rescuers, we need not be concerned about the airbag that can deploy twice. Thanks for watching this week's Extrication Minute video. I'm Brock Archer with Advanced Extrication. Take care and be safe.